got involved in Special Olympics in 1993 by another athlete asking me to, to get involved to play basketball. Um, didn't realize what was happening at that, at that time, but I do now that Special Olympics basically saved my life. Um, and the way that happened was I was hanging out with some people that weren't the best pe people that I thought were friends. I got in trouble with the police, thought I was going to go to jail. Make a long story short, um, I ended up telling the truth and changed my life by staying in Special Olympics. Basketball is my favorite for several reasons. One, I just enjoy basketball, but the main reason now is my oldest son is coaching me now. He expects a lot more out of me. It's kind of payback because I, I expected a lot out of him growing up and now he expects a lot more out of me. Before going to Morocco, I was sitting in Afghanistan, um, deployed with the Indiana National Guard. So I didn't even know for one if I'd get to go or not um, when I was asked. Um, Catherine Clark with the International Special Olympics sent me an email. I passed it on to my superiors. They made arrangements for me to make it home in time to go. And my goal was to talk about leadership. And I got to present my idea about what leadership was to everybody there. And then after that, we got to go into the big meetings with all the leaders and um, help out with the different programs in that. And my involvement there was sitting down with other leaders and talking about how athletes could become better leaders and more part of the program. And um, my biggest thing I've always said and always will say since it saved my life was Special Olympics is a family. It's not just an environment, it's a, once you're in, you're in a family. If you get involved through this torch run, you're gonna be part of the big family. And if you don't get involved through the torch run, I recommend that you get involved somehow and they'll always be there to support you. No matter athlete, volunteer, family member, we are there to support each other and help each other. That's the biggest thing I'd like to share. Just remember that Special Olympics is a big family. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Special Olympics Global Messenger from Indiana, Ken Melvin.